Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve fractions with exponents problems. And as you can see, there are four problems on your screen, and we're going to go through these together in order to help you get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have two-fifths to the power of three. Now, two-fifths is our base, and we need to expand it out the number of times that the exponent indicates. And our exponent is three. So that means we need to multiply two-fifths by itself three times. So it looks like this. Two-fifths times two-fifths times two-fifths. This problem, that, that exponent of three, does not mean two-fifths times three. It means expand the base, or two-fifths, out three times. Now we're ready to solve. So it's just multiplying fractions at this point, which is multiply straight across. So two times two is four, times two is eight. Five times five is 25, times five is 125. So our answer is eight over 125. Number two, one half to the power of five. So again, that does not mean one half times five. It means expand our base, which is one half, out five times and multiply. So we are multiplying one half by itself five times. So this one, our numerator being one, one times one is one, times one is one, times one is one, times one is one. So our numerator is still one. Now let's do the denominators of two. Two times two is four. So we did these two twos. Times two is eight. Times two is 16. Times two is 32. So we get one over 32 for two, or one half to the fifth power. Number three, three-tenths to the power of four, or to the fourth power. So let's expand three-tenths out four times and solve. All right, we are ready to go here with three times three is nine, times three is 27, times three is 81. Now for the denominators of 10. 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, times 10 is 10,000. So we get 81 over 10,000. And lastly, number four, four over six to the power of two. So we expand four sixths out twice and multiply straight across. Four times four is 16. Six times six is 36. So 16 thirty-sixths, which can be simplified. We can divide both of those by two and get 8 eighteenths, which can be divided by 2 again, which gives us 4 ninths as our simplified version of 16 thirty-sixths. Or you could have divided 16 and 36 both by 4 right off the bat and simplified in one step. So 4 ninths uh, for number 4 or the unsimplified answer of 16 thirty-sixths. So there you have it. There's how you solve fractions with exponent problems. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.